Welcome to Cookie's World. This is my world, and you're in it. I hope you're having a great day, evening, night, depending on where you're at in the world today. Well, today's conversation that I normally don't do, but I'm going to do it today because I want to talk about the verses. The verses is with the locks from Yonkers. Shout out to the locks. Shout out to Yonkers. Shout out to Westchester. I'm from Westchester. Um, the lot that was in my era growing up. Um, and the verses was with Dipset. Shout out to Dipset. They from Harlem. And they was in my era too. But believe it or not, I didn't know who Dipset was. And that's me. I can know a song. Half the time I don't know the title. <laughs> or the artist. Or it depends on if they're big i don't know even if they not big in the artists i i just when i like a song i like a song so i was debating on watching it just due to the fact i was like who is dipset you know what i'm saying so i said let me watch this the verses now the verses consists of two groups that came from the same era that goes back and forth like they trying to see whose songs were the best basically like during that era so, um, I was watching it, and my mind was blown. Okay. Let me tell you something. The locks was phenomenal. Do you hear me? It was like you was in a concert. I went to a lock concert before in Yonkers. You know what I'm saying? When they performed on stage or whatever. When I went to a club. But this was phenomenal. Okay. And... They was not a little bit more, but they was much, much more prepared than Dipset. Okay, I'm talking about, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, what they do is their art. And when you do your art, you know, that's the mastery, the magic street. <laughs> I be trying to use words I can't pronounce, but, you know, people work on their art. And, you know, I get them kudos, Dipset, I get them kudos for even coming out. Because <laughs> they should have stayed in. They was everywhere. Like, okay, Harlem, Harlem people, even the guys, the females, Harlem is the the dress of New York. They always think they the sexiest, flyest dresser of New York. I mean, a lot of stuff come from Harlem. A lot of the dress wear, that's why you see P. Diddy and them. They always got to show up. That's that's their thing. You know what I'm saying? And they came out, you know what I'm saying, all the gold and that like, and ga, 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 ga. You know? But they ain't come out with their lyrics. Like, they missed the whole point. Of verses. They missed the whole point of verses. Okay. Um, there was one guy that was there, and I kept saying on dipset side, and I kept saying, oh, Who is this dude? He was in a gray sweatsuit. He, you know what I'm saying? He had a little muscle, he had he was a little buff and stuff. And he was jumping around like he was a clown. I'm not and I kept saying, Who is that? Why is he up there? And his even his style didn't go with what he was doing. He looked like the Sandman on the Apollo. When you get booed off the thing, he come out there. And I said, and I and see, he was a big guy. I'm like, who is this? So later on, after I got finished watching, then people make a video. Then I found out that was their hype man. Uh uh, no. He should have even, mm -mm. And you know, and this is my opinion, everybody. You know, but he shouldn't have been out there. He was just a waste of space. He was a waste of space. And he made himself look goofy. And to be a big dude like that, the high, even a high man, we know back in the day, a high man be like in the background, like, yeah, throw your hands up. And to, that he was jumping around like a clown. Okay, so let's get back to the. The whole thing. So Jada, Jada kids kept calling them out. Jada kids kept saying, "Listen, 
We performed in front of New York. Why y'all lip syncing? <laughs> they was doing the Milli Vanillies. Because they was rapping while their song was being played in the background rapping. And sometimes they were catching the beat and off the beat. You know, it's hard, you know what I'm saying, to get back to do something old school. With Jada and them, the locks was mastered in what they did did their songs off an of instrumental. Yeah, hear me? They blew the crowd. They blew the crowd. They 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 really did it. I was so proud of them. I was so proud of them. And it's like um um dipset see what I what I did see is they had different members of the dipset, like Cameron, they had um Jim Jones, and what it was is, I guess they were doing their own songs too, not just Dipset songs, so they were doing different separate songs. I, I don't know. It looked like they just called each other and was like, look, we're about to go against the locks. This is the day before. <laughs> Let's get on stage and perform. Let's look cute. That's what we're going to do. We're going to look cute and perform. That didn't work. That didn't work is because this is hip hop, honey. You did that wrong. Y'all did that wrong. And, you know, they supposed to go back on tour with each other. And I hope they watch what they just put out and repractice and come better. Do you understand me? And I'm not putting it down because, you know, it's hard. It's hard to get back in a group and get stuff together. But listen, Dipset, watch what y'all did. Honey, learn from that because I know y'all going back on, you know, on tour with um the locks. They got their thing down pat. Now what's gonna be crazy is y'all gonna have to watch out because if they blew the people out the frame this time, see now they're gonna overdo it. Now they're gonna overdo it. So what y'all need to do is practice, practice without the um the music of uh, the words coming out the song. And, he, and Jada called you out. <laughs> he made y'all look ridiculous. And because the lock's going to upgrade after they did this one. And I don't know how much they're going to upgrade. But Jada wound up doing um a freestyle twice on y'all. Twice! So, you know, that was good. That's going to go down in history. I enjoyed it, but guess what? Step up your game, Dipset. But you know what? I'm proud of all of y'all for even coming out on the stage. You know what I'm saying? That was something that everybody probably was waiting to watch. I'm proud of all of y'all to step your game up because, see, now, guess what? The Lux is going to step it up again, and they already tore it out the frame. It's, it's just like they came out and knocked your ass out. Y'all was, y'all was up there knocked out cold. Y'all was knocked out cold. You know, but that's what happens, you know. It's a lesson, life lesson. Do better, though. Did that do better. But all in all, it was a good first. I'm proud of everybody, you know. And, you know, the lock showed out. They showed, I was so proud just to even, you know, and I'm, I, one thing I'm not starstruck on, but I was proud because they mastered their craft. After not being seen for a minute. You understand? So that's what I wanted to say about that. I mean, if y'all didn't watch it, go watch it. It's very interesting. It's nice. It, and it brought me back. It brought me back. Growing up. You know what I'm saying? It brought me back. So until then, please like, share, and subscribe. Please share me on your platforms. Please Tell a friend to tell a friend. Okay? Have a great day. Thank you for coming to Cookie's World. Because this is my world. And you're in it.